Hi all. Here's a scenario. I have my hair darker. I like it much more. This feels more like myself. Just wanted to get a little chit chat. It's currently Wednesday the 18th and I've been here for like four days and I've had a pretty rough go of it getting adjusted. I had horrible bouts of like jet lag where I couldn't go to bed until like 5 or 6 a.m. and I would have classes at 9. And also I was feeling just a touch anxious about my course schedule. I was having some doubts last semester whether or not Arabic was the right course for me. It is a language that I picked up and I picked up pretty well and ended up being my highest class, the class I did the best in. And my marks were consistently above average really validating especially at a language that's very difficult it was nice to know that it was something that i could possibly succeed in if i chose to continue it the problem is arabic required a lot a lot a lot of concerted effort and consistent studying that took up a lot of my time and a lot of my mental energy i didn't realize how much it kind of wore me down until the end of the semester and i mean i had a month off a month and a half off and i didn't look at one arabic word and i was hoping that would kind of allow this sense of like hostility a bit towards arabic and dread to kind of dissipate and so that when I came back I'd be ready to study it again and uh, that's not the case. I was actually feeling more dread going back into it knowing what lied ahead of me and how quickly and intense like fast paced this semester was going to be especially in terms of my other classes that I was kind of feeling a bit unsure whether or not I should continue it. Originally I was going to take international relations and Arabic as my major but I knew pretty soon into my last semester that I didn't want to take Arabic for four years and so I was just going to take it for two years and then drop it but the thing is if I took it for two years, it's just like a class that gets me credits to graduate. It doesn't really go towards any greater degree. It doesn't really make sense to put myself through this constant stress to learn a language, which is valuable in itself. But if I'm not going to major in it, and if I don't have that passion for it, and it's going to make me this anxious, I didn't know if there was going to be the right choice to put myself in that position where I'm succumb to a lot of pressure academically to succeed and also internally to continue to study. So I kind of was feeling really conflicted about it because like I said, it is my best class. I mean, this whole week, it's just been like the foremost that I had. I decided to drop Arabic, which I'm still not sure if it was the right choice, but I think it is. I haven't felt like I wanted to be back here yet. Um, I kind of jumped straight to the deep end with everything again. It's a lot of work and it's intimidating being on the outside and looking in. I wasn't quite ready to accept that like the semester started again and all kind of like the little things that are contingent upon that. But I'm in a better position now knowing that I don't want to study Arabic. A lot of little moving pieces and it's just trying to get it all ordered so you can take it incrementally. Yeah, that's all. Bye for now. is a mode of certification. Nothing remains then but the recollection of the pleasure of a luxury of a The only way to get rid of a temptation is to yield to it. Resist it and your soul grows sick with longing for the things that's forbidden to itself. How cool is that? <laughs> How cool is that? and that's really putting it gently. I go to Paris in four days. I planned this trip yesterday. I booked it with two of my close friends. I actually went to Paris at the beginning of last semester. We're staying at the same hotel we stayed at last time. It'll be great. The next weekend I'm going to Poland, the Lumsden Club, and we're staying in dance. and I've never been to Poland before. So <laughs> I have two travels coming up back to back and then it's February. <laughs>
Did somebody say slay? Did somebody say? What is this thing? Slay? Is that a... Is that a... <laughs> Since 2001, baby! Longer than me! What is it? Um, so today, as of today, we're we selling frozen! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it should have been. Lumps and loves, love. I know what the character is going to be struggling with, and I know what the theme is, and I know what the resolution is. Maybe like a philosophical tale, first person perspective, but as a conversation. I don't really want to get into it that much right now about exactly what my book is about because I want to be able to kind of keep it in mind for a little bit longer. I kind of like the idea of what I'm creating for it to be something that I feel exists primarily within, and sometimes I find I get influenced by external things easier than I'd like to. I feel affected by someone else's judgment easier than I'd like to and that shifts my own understanding. This whole story is so deeply personal. I like keeping it closer to me, waiting until it's more refined and finished before I start sharing it to everybody my first love of philosophy derived from this attempt to be able to understand everything so that I was able to understand myself better within the confines of that. As I grew older, I realized that there is no set understanding in anything and that I definitely have an existentialist perspective on life, how everything works and combines. I just don't believe that there is an inherent meaning in things. It's kind of exploring that topic more, the ways in which we can be understood by another person and why that is essential. And so I've had this idea kind of pop into my head the very basic frameworks of a plot. My story progressed and my plot lines started getting more intricate. For some reason, just today, I knew I reached a pinnacle point, knew exactly what I wanted to say, and that I had all the connecting pieces. I was just getting what is in my head out on paper, and now I can see it as a whole. It is quite exciting for me. When I was younger, it was kind of one of those things that I always knew I wanted to do. I always gravitated towards authors into reading and writing, and I found myself living equally in books and in quotes. In in the ideas left behind by other people and as much as my own. I always knew that's something I wanted to do and I always knew that was something I was capable of doing. And I feel like I've changed so much as a person since I came home. Since I left again, I'm a very creative person. I dropped Arabic, I picked up art history. Anything I do in my life will be creative. My life is so weird right now and I can only describe it in this one way and that would be but I know in months from now, when it is gone, I will look back at this time, the most fond memories, and kind of like the mood that will be left from it will still be tangible in six months and a year from now. Just when I think about how last December was kind of a revolutionary time in self-discovery and what I wanted to do. It's when I applied to St. Andrews and it's kind of essential to who I am and the upshape of the perspective that I have on the world. I know that this moment in my life, in this kind of era, if you will, will do the same for when I'm in my 20s and 30s or whatever. I'm just very happy and my life is just feeling really odd right now, but I love it dearly, so yeah, good night.
strange.